Hey guys! So, you want to learn how to make one of these bad boys, huh? You want to make your own fishing rod holder? Well, let's get right to it. Alright, so a while back uh, when I first started catfishing, I was trying to find a good rod holder because I'm a big bank fisherman. I don't have a boat, I have a couple of kayaks, but I don't really use them a lot. So I was kind of looking for like a rod holder and I first started off with those orange ones you buy at Walmart. And that really, you know, those, those were really weak. Um, they were really way too flexible and they were not well made and the welds would often break. So then I was kind of looking for a heavier update. So I went to Walmart again and I picked up those blue and white colored hurricane rod holders and they didn't hold up either. They, they just broke. They would, the weldings were terrible and again, they were too flexible. So I was looking all over and uh, I saw this video and I followed this guy's footsteps and I made my own rod holders. So in the meantime, I've modified my own. Uh, so I've made it by his model, just like it, but I've modified it a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can make your own awesome heavy duty rod holder for the bank. So this can also be used in rocks. I've had flatheads take these down and they've not been able to bend these. Um, these are really good, especially for circle hooks because they, do, they have no give. So the moment that that flathead or that blue cabbage takes it, it's gonna set the hook on them even better. So what are you gonna need? Okay, well first off, you are going to need some PVC. So what I have right here, I got at Lowe's, you can get this at Home Depot too. It's heavy duty PVC. Now if you wanna find the right size for yourself, all you really need to do is to kind of get your fishing rod, right? And you wanna kind of see, well, will this work well with the rod butt? Now you want it a little bit larger than the rod butt. And when it comes to how far you wanna cut those PVC, I've just lined it up with the rod. See, it hits the binger trigger and I've got about an inch before the bottom over here so there's about an inch space before the end of the rod butt and I hope you guys can see that right there so yeah that's how long I usually make it just a little bit longer than I need to and so what that allows is to when you stick this all the way down to the ground you're still gonna have a little bit of space so that rod butt's not gonna get in the dirt it's not gonna get dirty and if it's muddy especially you don't want to get that on the end of your rod butt because what if your hand gets thin? It gets on the reel and you got some mud and sand in your reel, that's it. Also, this is not good for sand or the beach. Do not try to use this on the beach. Get a sand spike for that. You can make that at home too yourself with PVC. Next thing we need, a steel rod. Now, this is a solid steel rod, not hollow inside, it's solid. And I got this from Lowe's and it's about $5 for this three foot by 3 8 inch steel. I like it, it's a nice and thick and still goes in the ground well. It's very strong. It does rust, but that's okay, that's perfectly fine. So now that you have the PVC and you've got the steel rod, well, let's talk about the fact that you need a metal saw. Now I use this metal saw for the PVC too, and it's an old blade, that's why. You can pick up these Lenox medium metal saw blades up from Lowe's for like two dollars you just attach those right here into those points on your saw so before you start sawing the metal into the sections that you make them you want to have a sanding painted surfaces mask that's the minimum why because you don't want to get that PVC or the little particles into your lungs. You don't want to get the metal particles from the rod into your lungs. And preferably also wear glasses because even one small metal fragment in your eye can cause you to potentially go blind. So always play it safe. So, now that I've explained that, the last part 
The last part that you'll need are these metal electrician clamps. Now, the ones that I use are two and eight, one eighth inch to three inch, 100% stainless steel. This is a number four stainless steel clamp. I usually get the six pack because you save money with those. If you buy all these things online, you'll get it for even cheaper. Basically what you're gonna do is, I prefer an 18 inch rod. So I cut this rod, this three foot rod, just in half. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take these metal clamps, right? And your metal rod, and you're going to take that metal rod, put the clamps over, just like this. And then usually I'll put the rod like this, like that. And I'll just tighten the clamps on that. And as long as these are lined up correctly the same way, making sure that this part that you screw with a flathead screwdriver shut is not on top of here. You want that over here on the side when it's tightening all the way and really tight so that this doesn't try to get bent over there. So you can get more force and you can really tighten that thing up well. What we need is something to sand with. This is a smoothing sanding block, but I prefer something a little bit coarser. And why? That's because after you cut your PVC, it's going to be rough on one side. You see how on this right here, it's very rough on the one side. So you kind of want to pick one side that's going to be used for the rod butt and you want to sand the insides of it. So usually with the sanding block, you know, I'll go inside of it like this really nicely on the outsides too. And the reason why you're going to do this is because when you put that rod in, you don't want this to cut into your rod butt and into the Ava foam handles. So I know pretty basic instructions. I'm not going to show you the hands on because I've already cut the PVC. I've so far already made these rod holders. Um, so yeah, that's how you make your own homemade bang rod holder. So what you can also do to get a little bit more grip is you can try to sand down where the metal rod attaches to the rod holder. I love these rod holders. They're cheap and easy to make and they've held up a lot better. Only thing you have to be careful of and aware of is that when it gets cold and hot and cold and hot, the metal expands. So it increases in size and then it also decreases in size. So always make sure you have your flathead screwdriver on you to tighten up these clamps right here in case they loosen up. Other than that, these things will last you forever and they are awesome rod holders. I hope I was able to help you guys out today. I hope I was informative. If you would like more information on fishing guides and fishing tips, and especially when it comes to cat fishing, well, you came to the right guy. So stay tuned for more content. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you can. It means a lot to me. And I guess that's it for today. Well, Catterman out. <laughs>